on our program now. But right now, I have in studio with me a gentleman I used to interview a lot, uh, many, many years ago. And it's my pleasure to have you on set with me, Bawani Pasad. You're a member of the Walk for Sight yes, uh, Committee. Good, good morning, Lisa. And it's so good to see you back in, good the, in, to see in, you in, too. in the TTT building. I see you have your sense of humor still. <laughs> <laughs> it will never, it will never it go. It will never go. go. Always a pleasure to have you yeah. in my company. Yes. Um, uh, I think it's tomorrow that we, no, no, we no. commemorate that's, World that's, Side that's, Day. Let's back when it up. When is World Side Day? World Side Day is actually the second Thursday of October. It's, oh, so we have some time. We have okay. some time. Now, the reason why we're doing this interview today is because we are having a walk to commemorate World Side Day. This mm -hmm. year, for the first time, the walk is not just uh, organized by the World Side Day Committee, but it, it is in collaboration with the Blind Welfare Association, persons associated with visual impairment, and advocates for the blind. Right. The walk begins at 7 a.m. around the Queen's Park, Savannah. When is the walk? Uh, on the 13th of October. Okay. That's Saturday, the 13th of October. Mm -hmm. The online registration is currently on. Uh, you can register at www.worldsidedtt.org. Yes. And it's, uh, the jerseys are costing $100 for adults and $50 for children under 12. Now, the jerseys, in previous years, we used to have just 2020 for a jersey. But bearing in mind that we have other agencies involved and we want to share the, the proceeds mm -hmm. equally amongst the other agencies, we have to raise the price of the jerseys. But mm -hmm. it is for a worthy cause. Now, the jerseys, when you purchase a jersey and you walk, there is going to be after the walk a lot of entertainment, including... Um, testing of, of your eyes, blood, sugar, whatever. Yeah. And also there will be a display of technical aids and appliances used by blind and visually impaired persons. And this takes place at the Queen's Park All Savannah? of it takes place at the Queen's Park Correct. Savannah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, after that, blind people who can cook. Yes. Uh, this is a project of the Advocates for the Blind. And it's, it's the second time that they, they're having this. And what they're inviting you to do is to come in and there will be Bouncy Castle. A lot of activities yeah. while you wait to, to sample what they cook. So this is on the same day? It is on, it, both events are on the same day. So, so this I, is an addition because yes, I don't yes, think yes. you had that before. No, no, no. It's the first. It's a collaborative. This is why we, we have all agencies on board this mm -hmm. year. It's a, a very important collaborative appeal. So it's a full day activity Yes, it's a full day year? of activities. Okay. Now the jersey, if you purchase a jersey, you allow free into the cooking site, right. the cooking area. Yes. And but if you don't purchase a jersey... If you jersey, don't purchase a jersey, then there is a, a, a fee that they will tell you about. I <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> we'll find out. Well, we have time for that because it's October 30th. Yes, but the Lions Club is involved in this, isn't it? We're trying to get as many... Yes, the Lions Clubs are involved. We're mm -hmm. trying to get all the service organizations organizations to, yes. to be part of it because blindness affects everyone in any part of the country at any time. Okay, so it's October 13th mm -hmm. and it's the Walk for Sight. Yes. And persons can log on to give me the website www.worldsightdtt.org. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can register now. When you come in the morning between 6 and 7, you will collect your jerseys. Now, I should mention that you know, jersey sizes or sizes of clothing these days are a little technical. Yeah. So if you know you wear large, yes. book for an extra large. Right. That will comfort you nicely. You know what I'm saying? Well, Annie, it's always such a pleasure to have you on. You give all the information in just the right time. And as you like to say, it's good to see you again. Yes, yes. Good and to see you and again. And, and, and I want to congratulate TDT because I, I realized a couple of Fridays ago you were running a feature on disability, which, yes. which says that you are, you are, you are very much all-inclusive. Of course. But this is also Deaf, Deaf Awareness Week in Trinidad and Tobago. Is that right? And okay. remember in the early days of TDT uh, with Alison, we used to do our sign language that's program. Right, so that's, that's right. That's something that, that the authorities here can consider okay, so reintroducing. Um, so and we're going to do that. We're going to we're going to address that next week on the program, mm -hmm. and we're very happy to have you here. World Side Day, and it's the world the Walk for Sight, October thirteenth. And it's a collaborative effort between the Trinidad and Tobago Blind Welfare Association, persons associated with visual impairment, the Advocates for the Blind, and of course the World Side Day Committee. We'll be back in a moment. Much more after this. <laughs> 